What's up, people of the internet? It is your boy, Set Free, coming to you today with a review on the unauthorized, authentic Jordan 11 Concord mids. Um, now, I'm going to go over the differences um, between the two. I'm not going to really go into the box because that is the easiest way to be able to tell a authentic pair from an unauthorized authentic pair. Um, and I'll kind of explain why I think that is a, a little bit later. Um, now, I know that from this view, I bet quite a few of you cannot tell which one is the fake uh, quote unquote, unauthorized authentic, and which one is the one that I purchased from Nike.com. Now, both of them are size 11. Both of them are dead stock. Um, they have not been worn. Um, and I know a lot of the videos that you've seen in comparisons with the unauthorized authentics, people have worn their pairs. Um, I wanted to give a, a review of them where they're not worn so you can see the differences and you don't have to worry about, oh, well, maybe that's because it was worn or it was creased or whatever the case might be. So anyways, um, the pair on... The right is actually the authentic pair. And that probably surprises some of you because I think that maybe some of you guys thought the one on the left-hand side was. Um, the one on the left-hand side obviously um, is going to look newer because even in the box, as anybody knows, shoe's yellow. Um, so you can see the yellowing of the bottoms. Any clear sole is going to yellow over time. It doesn't really matter what you do. Um, there's ways to reverse that um, with different products. But... Um, no matter what, you're going to get that yellowing regardless of, uh, of the time that you've worn it or whether it's been in the box dead stock like these. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can check the carbon fiber. And honestly, um, and I say this because, you know, you guys can't feel the carbon fiber, but there's no difference between them. Um, I think that, you know, quote unquote, unauthorized shoes before weren't as good um, or replicas or fakes or whatever you want to call it. Um, because they were coming from different factories. Now, hear me out on this. I don't know, honestly, with every single piece of the shoe being exactly point spot on, whether these are coming from different factories. Um, I've talked to a few people, and I'm, I'm almost convinced that these are B-grade shoes that have either gone out and not been stamped B-grade and sent to these other factories to sell, um, or that they're being done in those factories after hours or, you know, off the clock, so to speak, without quality control. Because the only thing you're going to see difference when I'm going to point these out are going to be slight quality control things. And they're, they're so tiny. Um, but as far as the materials made, there's no difference. Um, I can't tell a difference. Uh, and this is coming from somebody that's, that's collected shoes for 20 some odd years. And I've never seen a replica, quote unquote, if these are indeed replicas. Um, and again, I'm not, I'm not promoting fakes. I'm not promoting unauthorized authentics. I am just shocked that there is something that there is this close to the actual real one. Again, these are directly from Nike.com. I got these the day that they came out. Um, I was lucky enough to get them on the internet. You guys know how hard that is to get on, on Nike.com. So anyways, the carbon fiber is exactly the same. It's the exact same feel. Um, the purples are exactly the same. Um, the clarity of the, the bottoms in the parts that aren't yellow are exactly the same. Um, a lot of people talk about the front toe being different, um, the milkiness of the front toe, and those are exactly the same as well. So with that being said, um, I am completely shocked that they have something that is this close. Um, the material, I know that most people always talk about like the feel or don't talk about the feel of the shoe. I'm talking about the feel of the shoe because I thought that was gonna be the first thing. I'm like, oh, you know what? The patent leather is gonna feel different. It's gonna have that orange peel on it a little bit more or a little bit less. They look exactly the same. Um, I thought that maybe the font on this would be different and maybe the color, it's exactly the same. Um, the laces might be the only thing that feels a slight bit different, but Honestly, I don't even think so. I think I'm, I'm almost imagining that and wanting that to be the case. Um, the cut of it, uh, the weight of it, the padding on the inside is exactly the same. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to do a test and I'm going to use a scale and I'm going to weigh both shoes um, just to kind of see whether, oh man, if they're made out of different materials, they're going to be different. Um, they were both 17 ounces um, 17.3 ounces, 17.4, 17.5. What's weird is this shoe in the authentic was like 0.3 ounces heavier than this shoe. So, you know, it just varies on, on, I guess the way that they, they produce the actual shoes. Um, it's never going to be exact, but they weighed the same. 
So I'm thinking it's, a, it's the same exact material. Um, that was that was probably the most surprising thing to me. Now, um, with that being said, I will go into the differences that I see. Um, and again, they like I said, they might be quality control issues. Um, the only difference that I've noticed on the actual shoe, um, and I'm, I'm talking about from top to bottom, you're looking at, you know, the Jumpman logo here. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to try to focus on this a little bit better. Um, give you a little bit closer. The cut is exactly the same on this one as it is this pair right here. And you normally tell the differences between the cuts, and that's normally how um, I've been able to see the differences on all the shoes, even the backs. Um, let me focus a little bit better on the backs. The way that they're all lined up um, is exactly the same. Um, the cuts on these are exactly the same as the cuts on these. The size of this that comes down is the same as the size of this. Um, there's not really a ton of difference um, on any of them. And if they were, I would call them quality control issues. Um, if anything, the Jumpmans don't look all funky. They don't look weird. Um, the only thing that I could say, <laughs> to be completely honest with you, is the difference is the feel, maybe, of the 23. But, I mean, not even. Um, these look a little bit more, I guess you could say, wider. But it's so miscule and so minute that it could have just been the way that it was laying in a box or something like that. Um, but I don't... I. <laughs> You know, I really don't even, now that I'm going back over these again, I really don't even feel the difference um, between the two. I don't know whether these are like next generation type um, authentics um, or, or quote unquote, uh, you know, replicas, because I can't find the difference. Um, the only thing that I saw, again, might have been um, the laces. Um, maybe the feel of them is slightly different, but even that, I mean... I can't find a single thing on this shoe that is different than this shoe. The feel, the thickness, the way that um, the outside just, you know, everything about it. I mean, the leather, the, the flex of the leather. I, I, there's, not, there's not really anything that, that I was able to find on this shoe. Um, and let me, uh, let me zoom in a little bit. Um, that I was able to find on this shoe that was just, that was off to me. And... That's why I say what I do as far as like I'm not promoting fakes. Um, I just want you guys to be aware that the only way you're going to be able to tell is the box. Um, and, and really, you know, if somebody's walking around, you're never going to be able to tell the difference. I'm telling you right now, hands down, there's no way you're going to be able to tell the difference between this shoe bought from Nike.com and this shoe um, that is an unauthorized authentic. There's just no way. Um, the boxes, there's slight differences as far as the hue of the purple. Um, and I can, I can show you the two boxes right here. Here's, here's one of the boxes. Um, that is the, I can't even tell you because they're really close. That's the unauthorized authentic. This one is the one from Nike.com. And the reason why I'm not going to show you it because, um, to me, it's a waste of time. It's a waste of time because you're not going to see the box when somebody's walking around with them. Now, again, if you want to know the differences between the box, the fonts, those are the differences. Um, and I'm not talking about the actual font itself. I'm talking about the boldness. It is slightly, slightly, slightly different. And let me see if I can get it within the camera um, right here. Okay, so here is, let's see if I can get it focused. This is the authentic box right here. Um, now, again, I don't know if you can tell the difference in the fonts just from this. Numbers are all correct. Everything is exactly the same. The fonts are slightly different. Um, some of the boxes were, were talking about the purple insert being different. This one did. Some of the boxes, um, they're exactly the same. The purple is like no different. This one, it, unfortunately, was uh, a little bit darker than the actual real authentic pair so you could tell the difference and then the uh, the shoe trees the shoe trees are exactly the same um i could show you them they're on the inside of the shoes right now but just don't there's no purpose um those are really the only ways you're going to be able to tell the font is a little bit um let's see a little bit thinner on the actual box of the unauthorized authentic and the purple is a little bit darker 
um, on the insert uh, for the shoes and the insert for the box. But without the box, you're not going to be able to tell. And really, unless you had them side by side, you would never know the difference. So um, it's really scary, it, to be completely honest with you. And, um, you know, the way that they're making unauthorized authentics with pretty much every single Jordan coming out, I don't really know if there's going to be a way for people to be able to tell and not get um, sold a pair that they are thinking is directly from a store and it's actually from um, a third party quote unquote website. I don't even say third party because it's not even a third party website. We don't know how these uh, people are getting these shoes. Um, again, I have my own opinions. I think that they're completely um, getting these from the factories um, after hours or uh, uh, some other means of getting them when they're B grades. Because the only thing, like I said, with small quality control things, like this one came and the little stitching on the Jordan right there is a little bit off, but that's just a fray. Like I could cut that with, you know, a small pair of scissors and you'd never be able to tell. So again, um, here's the review of the Jordan 11 Concord. Um, that is the unauthorized in the front. This is the authentic in the back. Um, so you guys get an idea of what they are, what to look for. I don't even know what to tell you. I don't even know what to tell you that there is something to look for. Um, I think that, uh, I think that maybe, um, if you had them side by side, you could see small little things, but I, I wish I could tell you, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I'm not looking correctly. Um, maybe there's a small little thing that I'm not seeing. Um, but if anything, I would even call it a quality control issue. I wouldn't call it um, the difference between an authentic and a uh, and an authorized pair. So again, uh, thanks guys for taking your time to watch. I hopefully uh, be able to do a couple more reviews on shoes um, and shoes even like this, so you guys can be educated on the market and what is actually out there. Have a good day. God bless. Oh, and just one more thing. I know a lot of people talk about the tags on the inside of the shoes. I didn't show them um, for the simple fact that they're exactly the same. There's no difference. Even even the boldness of the font um, is no different than the other one, which is crazy to me. Um, there's no difference in the boldness of the font. There's no difference in the numbers on the tag. There's no difference in the dates. Um, and even in the insoles when you lift them up, there's exactly that same little dot, little dot hole in it, and it feels all the same. So, um, again, uh, the, the things that I could point out was, was really small. And um, if you guys notice some other stuff, comment below. I'm going to be more than happy to, you know, kind of re-up this video and, 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 you know, point out the few things that, that you guys see. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Again, God bless. Take care. One last thing. Um, I know that a lot of people will point out while I said that the shoes were almost identical, um, other than quality control issues that I feel like um, are the differences, that the boxes are different. Um, so why would that be if they're coming from the same exact place? Well, I think, um, this is my personal opinion, that the shoes are coming from the same exact factories um, that Nike gets them from, whether that be after hours, whether that be unauthorized ways of getting them, um, and then they're manufacturing the boxes themselves. Um, now, again, I could be completely wrong. Um, you guys could totally disagree with me. But um, until I, I find out any other information, that's the conclusion that I've come to. Um, because looking at these shoes as far as the same quality of the leather, um, the same quality of the nylon, the same quality of the, the clear bottoms, um, to get you know the same exact mold, the same exact size where they're exactly the same length and width um, on a size 11, um, it's just really hard for me to believe that they're coming from another factory. Uh, again, you know, you guys might disagree and that's, that's totally okay. Um, I'm just, you know, coming up with a conclusion myself and what I feel that it is. So again, happy shopping, you guys. Hope you have a good Christmas and New Year's. God bless. Take care. I'm out.